Hello viewers, I am back with a new video and today's topic is basic English for new learners. There are so many people around the world who are new in English language and they are not even know about the English. So here I am to for the very basic class of English. So let's see the English from the very starting. First of all, I'm going to tell you that there are 26 alphabet in English and they are divided into two parts. There are 26 alphabets in English and they are divided into two parts. First one is vowel and second one is consonant. Vowel. A, E, I, O, U. These are vowels. And the rest of the alphabets are consonant. A, B, C, D are known as alphabets or letters. Alphabets or uh, uh, letters are known as A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D small are also there and uh, capital letters and small letters both are available in English. We always start our uh, sentence or a word with a capital letter and then after we use small letters. So small and capital both are available in English and we are going to discuss here about the things so when two or more alphabets come together it's form a word when two or more of alphabets come together it's form a word uh, like a plus n is equal to n a plus n plus t is equal to is known as ant so this is the way we form a word by joining the letters by joining the letters we come with up a word when two or more words come together uh, and make complete sense is called a sentence as i am a student we are indians sentences there are three type of sentences that we use in our spoken uh, english or spoken language that is a simple sentence positive sentence we also call it positive sentence then interrogative inter interrogative sentence where we ask the question that uh, what are you doing where are you going means interrogate someone that uh, what he or uh, he or she is going to do so second is interrogative sentence and third is negative sentence where we use not that I'm not coming with you. I'm not going there. So not one is negative sentence. Simple sentence or positive sentence interrogative where we interrogate the person that uh, where are you going? What are you doing? Uh, sentence like this and the uh, third one is negative where we are saying no. No, I'm not coming. I'm not going there. This type of sentence known as negative sentence. Sentences. And then after we talk about tense. Tense are also of three type. That is uh, past tense, present tense and future tense. Past that has happened in the past means whatever uh, happened last days, last month. All these are past, future, present, the present day. The present time is known as present tense and the future tense, future tense means uh, whatever will happen, will happen in the next day, in the next month, in the next moment, all that is known as future tense. So this is the basic uh, class that I, that I discussed here and uh, very soon I'll be back with my new class. If you like my uh, video, if you like my class please 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 subscribe my channel and for more videos please 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 uh, press the notification bell also so you get all my videos on time if you like my video please subscribe it share it and do not forget to and do not forget to what like it yes thank you till then take care